Welcome back to another day in the life of a reseller vlog. Today is Wednesday, August 14th. I've been busy this morning. I got a new vlog published to my channel. I also did another what sold video. Let me give you a look at the thumbnail if you want to check this one out. Here's a look at the thumbnail for those of you who want to educate yourself on the top 10 men's vintage jackets sold. We took a look at the jackets and the top 10 men's vintage jackets. Actually, we did 11, but uh, check out that video if you're interested in that information. So I'm continuing to do those what sold videos as an effort to kind of educate myself and the rest of you guys about the top selling items out there on eBay in specific categories. Today we looked at jackets and more specifically we looked at the men's vintage jackets. We searched keyword vintage jacket and the men's and uh, looked at 11 of them. There were some cool ones in there. So you want to check out that video to see what those jackets are selling for. Some of them are selling for some big bucks. So uh, interesting information to find out. And of course, posting all this new content has led to a lot of action in my YouTube channel. Let's take a look at analytics and see how we're doing. Here are the analytics, the channel analytics for the last 28 days showed that there's 102,800 75 views the last 28 days watch time is up to 759.8 hours so I've been consistently posting both long form and short form content every day trying to get this channel monetized and it's really taken off the last couple months we've got quite a few new subscribers and uh, it continues to grow here's a look at that channel analytics view chart as you can see it's up and down and up and yesterday was up quite a bit and uh, that went up to 564 subscribers currently and at 7302 hours of watch time uh, the last 48 hours those are views 732 7,302 rather views the last 48 hours. So pardon my uh, slip up there. Kind of hard to make sense of all the analytics on that page there, but uh, we got quite a few uh, views the last uh, 48 hours. That's a result of posting some uh, shorts of a uh, video I did, a storage unit clean out I did a while back. I clipped that up, posted those up, and uh, that's led to over 7,000 views this morning. So uh, quite a few views the last 48 hours. We're gonna keep it going. We're gonna put that what sold video up and then we're gonna clip that one up for tomorrow. So we're continuing to put both short form and long form up there and the channel continues to grow. So thank you for watching. So 564 subscribers means we got a few new ones on board. Let me reintroduce myself to you guys. My name is Brian Kingsbury. I'm a full-time reseller. I've got two eBay stores, over 6,000 items listed online. And this channel kind of details the ins and outs of those businesses. This is the day in the life of a reseller vlog. This comes out every morning. We kind of detail the ins and outs of the business, like I said, and we show you what's sold. We show you what we're buying. And of course, we show you what we're listing and trying to flip for profit let's take a look at the big store and see what sold today so yesterday we called it terrible Tuesdays here Wednesday sales returned a little bit we have eight sales overnight for a hundred and five dollars and fifty cents 105 50 for eight sales let's see what First they were sold for eight dollars and sixty four cents it's an extra large 32 degrees cool gray men's polo shirt short sleeve polyester next item sold for 1605 it's a no country for old men DVD movie starring Tommy Lee Jones and Javier Bardan as well as as well as Josh Brolin it's a great movie if you haven't seen it check that one out no country for old men next item sold for $14.62 it's a high phone black flat front men's polyester capri dress pants 32 inch waist by 16 inch inseam next item sold for $20.70 it's a pair of REI beige nylon line cycling shorts extra large padded mountain biking extra large next item sold for nine dollars and 55 cents it's a pair of joss a bank pleated black solid men's dress shorts 38 inch waist by 8.5 inch in next item sold for eight dollars and 12 cents it's a size medium tech gear pink and white t-shirt top polyester women's short sleeve next item sold for 1905 it's a large spider blue polyester spandex athletic rash guard t-shirt short sleeve and that eight and final item that sold overnight sold for eight dollars and seventy three cents it's a gh and bass and company burgundy red polo shirt short sleeve polyester spandex blend size extra large so there you see it eight orders for 105.50 i'm gonna go locate those items we'll print some shipping labels and we'll add those to the tote 
All right, through the magic of video, there they appear. Eight orders ready for shipping labels. Let's get them printed. Right, there they are, eight orders, and here come those labels fresh off the printer. Let's get these printed and ready for the post office. All right, we got eight orders ready for the tote. Let's count them off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and no country for old men is number eight all right now that we got all those big store orders fulfilled we're going to log into the small store see what kind of action we had in the small store see if we had any sales we need to pack up and uh, we do have a few listings that i got up into the small store that i'll put so away there's three shirts i listed into the small store we'll have to put those away and grab what sold all right there you see we just had one order for 1633 out of the small store here it is let me give you a look it's a pair of Levi's 502 blue cotton elastane denim jeans pants, 31 inch waist by 32 inch inseam. We're going to grab those. So I'm going to grab those Levi's jeans, put away those three listings that I listed into the small store this morning, and we'll pack that uh, pair of jeans up, add it to the tote, and then we'll head into town with our orders and drop them off. All right, there they are. We've located those pair of Levi's 502s, 31 by 32 inch inseam blue jeans here come the label for them let's get them printed and add them to the tote drop them off at the post office all right we got one more for the tote there we go all right now that we got all those orders packed up like i said we're gonna hit the road we're gonna drop those off at the post office probably go for a nice run around lake pad and take a few moments for a few moments of gratitude of course i'm gonna take you guys all with me so you can see the sights and sounds of the adventure into town so let's get ready and head into town as you saw we got those orders dropped off the next stop is lake padden let's go all right we made it here to lake padden i'm gonna hit the trail give you guys a look at the sights and sounds of lake padden here go on a little warm up and uh, show off the lake a little and then we'll hit the trail and i uh, get that 2.6 mile run accomplished so uh, let's hit the trail and see what we can see today All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed that little look at Lake Padden. As promised, I'm going to hit that trail, let you guys know how the run goes, and take a little break for some gratitude when I return, so stay tuned. All right, I made it another successful 2.6 around Lake Padden. I'd probably give today an 8 out of 10. Felt pretty good, pretty strong all the way through the 2.6, so uh, I could probably use a little bit of endurance, probably do a few more longer runs. And I might add that to the workload, but uh, right now we're just sticking with the 2.6, getting those uh, miles logged in here at Lake Padden, and uh, eventually we might up the mileage, but uh, 
you gotta kind of listen to your body today was a good one though made it through a pretty strong I would say a pretty fast pace around the lake today so a nice beautiful day for a run and uh, we made the most of so it. So I guess I'm grateful for the progress I've made with my health able to get around the lake at a nice healthy pace a nice clip around the lake feeling pretty good about it and uh, but kind of back to my old ways you know we had some uh, lower days back in the winter time where it was uh, body was kind of breaking apart a little but uh, we worked it back into shape and uh, that's kind of what you got to remind yourself that uh, the mind is a powerful tool you can definitely use it to uh, get back in shape it just takes a little time and effort so I was thinking back to all the years of running I've done you know you start uh, probably seventh or eighth grade when I first started running and uh, here it is maybe 30 years later and uh, still at it still going strong and uh, you know one of the benefits is you kind of create those pathways between mind and body you kind of uh, over the years you know you put yourself through these uh, trials and tribulations and you know what you're capable of because you've done it before sure you know I'm not the same uh, runner I was when I was uh, 20 but uh, at 48 I'm probably the 95th percentile in my age bracket you know and something to uh, feel good about you know and part of that is that fact that I've kept it up all these years, you know, creating those pathways between mind and body. My mind knows what my body is capable of, even though it doesn't always feel like doing so it. So that's kind of one message you can maybe send to the youngsters out there, you know, struggling. They don't like running or whatever, you know. Maybe they get out there and they're at football practice and all they want to do is sprint. But, uh, you know, build that endurance. Create that mind and body pathway uh, so that, that you'll have it later in life because uh, you'll only be running those sprints for so long, but the, the long distance and the cardio is what uh, helps keep your heart healthy in the long run. So a lot of people say, you know, when the legs fail you, you get on the wheels, you know, you switch to cycling, and uh, I haven't had to do that yet. I do a little bit of cycling here and there, maybe mostly just leisure with the wife. I don't really enjoy being on the roadways. I think it's a little bit dangerous to be out there, all those cars whizzing by you, and you hear about all kinds of cycling accidents. So I'd much prefer to stay on a nice, safe trail like here at Lake Padden. Obviously, you know, there's a certain dangers out here as well, but uh, not uh, half of what's out there on the roadway. So that's one thing I noticed on my last bike ride. The birthday bike ride, if you want to check out that video, it's up on the channel. I did a birthday bike ride, my 48th birthday, July 20th. We went out on uh, the roadways and uh, did a nice little bike ride and uh, just the stress of being out there with those cars whizzing by you and uh, never really knowing, you know, the bike I was on a little sketchy so uh, never knowing really how it's going to go and, uh, you know, relying on those behind a wheel to keep you safe uh, whereas uh, out here on these trails it's kind of up to you. So I guess I'm grateful for the peace that I find out here, you know, a little connection to Mother Nature out here enjoying uh, the sights and sounds uh, of uh, the summer, right? Enjoying summer to the fullest and uh, getting out here and kind of communing with nature. So we uh, make effort to do that and I think it's important for everybody. So if you're not doing that, get off the couch, get out there and do something, go for a walk, go for a run, uh, maybe just get on your bike and uh, see the sights and enjoy the summer. So I guess I'm grateful I get to share that message with some new subscribers. I know the subscriber count keeps climbing, which is great. You know, we're almost headed towards that 1,000 subscribers and uh, the channel continues to grow. You know, for a while there, I thought it was gonna take forever for the channel to get monetized, but I think the there is a light at the end of the tunnel now. I can kind of see how it's gonna happen. And, uh, you know, for a while I thought it was gonna take four years, but here we are at the pause for that noisy motorcycle but here we are almost a second year into this venture you know trying to get the channel monetized and uh, we're approaching that uh, 1,000 subscribers we're almost uh, to that finish line so if it keeps growing the way it is uh, we're gonna be there in no time so I want to thank all you subscribers uh, for uh, joining this adventure and hope you stick with me and uh, help me get to that 4,000 hours of watch time. That's going to be the next hurdle. Once we get to 1,000 subs, that 4,000 hours is uh, something hard to accomplish. So once we get there, it's going to be fun. It'll be interesting to see what that Google AdSense money looks like with all these videos out there on the internet, on the YouTube. Uh, obviously, the more you put out there, the more growth, uh, the more views, and the more money you're going to get. So we're just going to keep adding to the... 
collection of videos over 2,000 I think 2,600 videos out there now me talking to this uh, camera so uh, quite a bit to watch out there and it will be interesting to see how Google AdSense treats all those videos once they got a pony up and uh, pay a little coin for them yeah, I keep watching these how much I made my first year YouTubing type videos. You know, people put those out and they let you know how much they made the first year of uh, monetized. And it's interesting because they're not really getting the views that I get at this point and uh, they don't have near as many videos. So I've been at it a long time and uh, my videos haven't got the attention that a lot of theirs have but uh, they may have gotten to over that hurdle quicker but I think my payday might uh, be a little greater than theirs once we get there. So of course I'm grateful for that opportunity and kind of curious how it's all gonna pan out you know I'm not really that stressed about it but uh, we're working toward it and uh, putting a lot of great content out for you guys to enjoy. We're putting out those what sold videos and uh, making those a regular part of the rotation as well as these day in the life of a reseller vlogs and uh, some other stuff on the channel so we'll keep seeing what's out there keep exploring new avenues of video and uh, putting stuff out there that's fun for you guys to and watch and hopefully you'll keep liking those videos keep watching those videos and uh all the rest of it maybe even a share I don't get any shares lately but uh, it could happen right if I create something really cool maybe a short if I say something really profound you guys might hit that share button and uh, put it out there to your fan base that'd be cool so I guess I'm grateful for the ideas this new venture has kind of created in me all kinds of fun new ideas of uh, stuff I could do once this channel it takes off a little so we'll see how things progress and um, I'll let you know right so stay Stay tuned. I'm going to head at home, try to get a little bit of more work done. We got some dress shirts ready to be listed. And of course, I'll pack up any orders that may have come in while we're out and about. So uh, the day in the life of a reseller continues. Thanks for watching. All right, it's a little after 9 o'clock. I'm going to call an end to this day in the life of a reseller vlog. I want to thank everybody for watching this video to the very end. If you could do me a favor, hit that thumbs up. Hit that thumbs up and like this video on your way out. It would be uh, greatly appreciated. Thanks again. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.